appeared on my doorstep wearing nothing but a postcard prom. No, appear is the wrong word. Is there a word for sucker punching someone in the heart? Is there a word for when you're sitting at the bottom of a roller coaster and you realize the climb is coming, that you know what the climb means, that you can already feel the foot in your stomach from the fall before you've even moved? Is there a word for that? There should be. You can only fit so many words in a postcard. Only so many in a phone call. Only so many into space before you forget that sometimes words are used for other things than filling emptiness. It is hard to build a body out of words. I have tried. We have both tried. Instead of lying your head against my chest, I tell you about the boy who lives downstairs who stays up all night long practicing his long test. The neighbors have complained. They have busy days tomorrow, but he keeps on coming through the night, convinced, I think, that practice makes perfect. Instead of holding my hand, you tell me about the sandwich you made for lunch, the way the pickles fit perfectly against the lettuce. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes permanent. Repeat the same mistakes over and over, and you don't get any closer to Carnegie Hall, even I know that. Repeat the same mistakes over and over, and you don't get any closer. You never get any closer. Is there a word for the moment you win tug of war? When the weight gives out, and all that extra will comes hurtling towards you, and <coughs> even when you win, you wind up with muddy knees and burns on your hands. Is there a word for that? I wish there was. I would have said it when we were finally together, sitting on your couch, neither one of us with anything left to say. Till now, I send letters into space, hoping that one day some mailman somewhere will track you down and recognize your face from the description in my poem. He will place the sacrament in your hand to tell you there is a girl who still writes to you. She doesn't know how not. 